Hey everybody, welcome back. Room with Texas Water Fishing. And uh, right now I'm on Up Above Adventures boat, got her hooked. And uh, doing a little maintenance, you know, taking care of a few things here on the boat. But tomorrow morning I am going fishing with Bethel and Tim. Bethel from Intervention Safety uh, Consultant and uh, is a safety consultant, Intervention Safety Solution. He's a safety consultant and Tim from TTL Service. It's a plumbing service out of Fort Bend, Bend County. I'll leave the guys information below in case you're interested and need a safety consultant or you need a plumber for the uh, Fort Bend County area. Um, their information is in the description section. But I'm gonna be going fishing with them. We're gonna probably stop and get some live shrimp. The fishing under a voodoo cork. Uh, probably would anywhere from a two to three foot leader line and um, probably throwing an octopus hook or even maybe a cow hook. But uh, stay tuned. I haven't been on the water in a minute. It's going to be fantastic. I can't wait to get out there and do a little fishing and see what the what the day holds. Now we do have some, right now we're in between storms, but we do have some storms uh, that are supposed to pop back out in the morning. So fingers crossed, wish us luck and hopefully we don't get... Uh, caught in the rain too much but thanks for coming back don't forget like comment subscribe share there you go tim he All gave right. up quick though. All right, mother. He gave up quick though. Nope. That's a it's a nice red drum. Huh? Drum? Uh, Black drum? Yeah. Oh, there he goes. I just seen his face. You keeping him? No, I'm not keeping fish. You want to keep fish? Yeah. You got a new little bag. That's a perfect size, bro. Okay, we'll keep his ass. All right, I'm on. I'm on bait, Dick. I bet you are. <laughs> Better with a little sand trout. Oh, that's a speckler. Hey, Specky. dink for days. Specky. Ow. So Ow. what's your what's your special <sighs> technique there, Betito? This is. Oh, look at that. Timmy got a speck too. Tim's quiet. How about? Oh, this? that's a lady uh, tarpon, ladyfish. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. He wanted to do that again. He wanted a surprise hit. He wanted to give you a little. There we go. Something small. Feels trouty. What? Snapper? Mangrove snapper? No, I didn't get anything. I didn't get anything. It's just nothing. Don't worry about it. What are you looking at me? Uh-huh. See, you missed your fish. Miss worry about Reuben. Hey, how did he come off, dog? That's, you, how did he come off? You got magic. Really? Yeah, it's all slimed up, though. What you got? What you got? What you got? The same spot. Oh, what do you got there, Timmy? A little small speckler. Oh, guys, Timmy, two socks fish. Look, Timmy. That's your little two sock fish, Timmy. Damn, you still have your bait. Bait. How you still have your bait? There he goes. Lady. That's perfect. That's a perfect lady. Smarshy pants. Got a bleeder. They where, did do where it. Where we going? Secluded spot to all of you followers from Ruben's channel. Please make it. sure come and fish it. We got a lot of hardheads in that area. Yeah. I just like Tim's toothbrush that he brought this morning. <laughs> That's also a crack aside brush. Yes. So we call it crack aside brush. Cracker? Crack aside. Yeah. So when you we're coming for you in a little while, Pepe. Oh, right there, right there, Tim. Right there, right on that grass line. There you go, Tim. 
There you go, Tim. I seen that. Found a racing flounder. Another one. Another one right in front of you to your right hand side, Tim. You got a speck. No, that's flounder. Is it? Yeah. That's a flounder. I see it pop up. Alright. Multi species day. Ooh, that's there you go. <laughs> Flatty daddy, baby. Pot leg. <laughs> Tim got leg. Pot leg. <sighs> nice flatty. Pot, pot, pot leg. Look. Look. Pot, look there? pot leg. Oh man, that's a nice pot leg too. That's clean pot to lick on there. Out. Out. Let me kiss it for good luck. This some long ass whiskers. What the fuck? You big meanie. Did you need one? You do need one. <laughs> that was I got my I just got my <laughs> stolen. <laughs> that would have been badass to go on video. <laughs> you are on video, sir. Oh man, the, you stole my nabber. stuff. Yeah. The shrimp nabber. Nab done nab my shrimps. Look, we're Twinkies. Ooh. Where's yours? I see a fish right there. Right there. Cast at it. Right at that corner. Cast at it, Tim. Get it, Tim. Get it, Tim. Ooh, and right across the water, too. Oh, look. Betta. Across the water and in this cut, too. Yep, to the left. Right in that curb. Something else, too. Yeah, it's a little baby fish. See? Dang, he caught him in his ear. I never seen nobody hook a fish in the ear before. I'm professional like that. I see that, I see that, senor. I can't get a fish, dog. I'm feeding him today. Where's my damn bobber? You ain't got no bobber, Lieutenant Dan. Where's your cork at? Uh, down. That's where the fuck it's at. That's what you got, Timmy? Said. What you got, Timmy? Hot lick. He got licked on. That's what she said. What you see? What you got? That's what you got, Tim? What you got, Tim? Oh, it's a oh, it's a speckler. There you go, speck showing up. We need a big one. We need a big one. We need a big one. Timmy just got this little one right here. Timmy got that little one. Oh, we need a big speck. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. No, that's a red. That's a red. She going that way. There you go. That's a red. Uh, it's going behind us. the weirdest what looking red I've ever seen. seen. Dude, look how big that guy is, though. Biggest look how big he is. Holy foosnickums. Look how big he is. You really need the flyers now. That thing is big, big, big. Look how big he is, though, man. This guy's nice size to him. That's a good one. Yep. He's edible. They say it tastes good. I wouldn't know. Beto has a special fishing technique that he likes to use from time to time. Yeah. When you're bored and not catching anything but already at the gap top. That's nice. That was a nice distance too. Let me see how you pop that cork. How you work it, Beto? You work it like that. Beto's doing a good job. Timmy, go ahead and cuddle with the mic you normally do. Don't worry about the camera. That's a Montana. Or Colorado. Colorado. No, it's a trout. Oh, that's a keeper. Look at Timmy. Look at Timmy. What's up, keepy? You're down, you're down. Get him. There you go. That's a trout-itis. Another T-route. Another T-router in the house. 
this right on board. Come on. Probably drift over the reef. Hey, get him in the boat! There he is. You're down again. You got him? It's a fishy. It's a, it's a trouty. It's a trouty. Stay out of my line, trouty. It's a trouty. Hey! Wow, bait. Well guys, that's gonna do it today. You know, like you saw, your boy struggled. I mean, that's like the last two times I went with Tim and Betha. I just like really, really struggled. And uh, you know, I haven't really been fishing inshore a whole, whole lot lately. So, um, you know, it was just good to get out there and good to get the line wet and, and good just to get out there and cast a little bit. You know, we had some rains that were, that were popping in and out of the area and it rained a little bit too. So sometimes when the water clarity gets a little milk, it gets a little sandy. It was still green, but it was a little milky, a little sandy. Sometimes that could really choke the bite out and, um, and push some of the, the better quality fish off. Um, I think that if we would have drifted a little bit more and fished around, you know, more, some more of the reefs, uh, we probably would have, you know, ended up catching some fish. But we went through two corks of uh, bait kind of pretty fast, just within a couple hours of live shrimp. Uh, I did throw a uh, gulp a little bit, and um, yeah, nothing. <laughs> I just struggled, man, you know. It's just one of those things, just not in the cards for me today. Uh, the guys were kind of giving me a hard time saying, you know, I didn't catch any keepers. But I caught two gaff top and a sand trout. You can keep all three. So I did catch three keepers. And uh, despite what they might say. And my buddy Captain Cody will tell you that in his mind, gaff top tastes better than red drum. Maybe you think it does. Maybe, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I've never eaten gaff top before. I never mess with it. You know, they're always... They're so slimy, so I don't even entertain, you know, that. But, you know, Tim and Bethel's information is below. If you need a plumber in the Fort Bay County area or you need a safety consultant, look those guys up. Great guys. Uh, I think the world of them, great friends, great, just, just overall, just really good people. So if you need any of that in the description section, I have their contact information down there. But appreciate it, guys. Don't forget, you haven't subscribed yet. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Like, comment. Helps a lot. And until next time, I hope you catch me. Hook it up. Thanks.